Hello, we've made a lot of progress since the last home building vlog. I'm gonna show you what the front is looking like. They've started painting and I think putting in tile. Let's just go through and see what's been happening since we last talked. The entryway looks dark right now because they have a cover over the front door to protect it, but they have started painting the trim, which is very exciting. So we're gonna be doing a different flooring in this entryway than in the rest of the downstairs, which you will see later on. So this this is the entry of the house. There is a coat closet in here through this little vestibule area. I'm really excited about what we're gonna be putting in here. There's a pocket door right here, which we had in our last house, so that you can make it quieter back here, which is where our master bedroom is. So we have this nice bay window area in the master bedroom, and if you turn this way, we're gonna have a set of double doors going into the master bathroom. The tub will be over here with a nice window over it, and then this is where the vanities will be our shower and I'm very excited because I'm having a bench in my shower, which I have not had before. And then across from the shower is the toilet room. And in here is the closet. A huge regret for me in the last house was not having a big enough closet for Michael and I, it was just really small. I also put my makeup vanity to do my makeup every day in here. So basically anything Michael and I need to get ready in the morning, will be housed in the bathroom and the closet area, which I think will be really nice so that whoever is in the bedroom won't be disturbed. So I am very excited to see how this closet looks once it's all built out. We have this little island in here as well. Going back out of the master bedroom, going back through the vestibule area. We are now coming through the entrance. This is a powder room which isn't really much to look at right now. And then we will be having some kind of stair railing here. We haven't really worked out those details yet. And this is the living room. There's a fireplace right there, which you can't see right now. And these are drawers, which will be somewhere. And then if you turn this way, that's where the dining eating area will be. And then the kitchen will be here. And through here, we will have a butler's pantry kind of bar area. And I finally got my pantry door, which you can't really see. It looks like they're protecting it. It's reeded glass and this door is actually going to be painted black. And then the pantry is in here. And then through here, we have the laundry room. The washer and dryer will be there. Those are going to be cabinets. There's going to be doors. The garage is through there. And then on this side of the laundry room, is a kind of a drop zone mudroom area and I had a tall cabinet put over there to put brooms and mops and tall things. Okay, so turning this way, going through the pantry area. The outdoor kitchen is gonna extend along that wall and the counter is gonna turn from that wall to around that post so that you can sit and eat or drink or whatnot. And then the pool is coming along very nicely, which I'm so excited about, by the way. We have an outdoor bathroom out there and I've worked with the landscaper already. I've gotten my quote there. That was sticker shock. I've poured some concrete out front and things are moving forward. We're hoping we're still gonna have our July move-in date. It does look very messy out here as it should while you're building. There's so much natural light in here, which I absolutely love. Oh, and by the way, that's not the color of the house, the ceiling and all of that. The house will be a different color. That's just what it is right now. So going up the stairs very carefully because there's no railing. Okay, I'm now standing at the top of the stairs and I'm seeing how soft our white is compared to the stark white primer. I can't wait to see it once it's actually on the walls and in the spaces it's gonna be. It's not gonna be everywhere. You'll see that as we go further, but I think it's gonna be really pretty. Okay, so if I turn to my left from where I'm immediately standing above the stairs, so here's the stairs. To my left is Michael's den, man cave, whatever you wanna call it. Then we have a bathroom, which is also accessible from Brooke's room. And here is Brooke's door. And if you keep turning, we have the guest room, Brady room hybrid. He's in college, so whenever he comes home, he'll stay here. It's also a guest room. When my mom comes over, we have guests. That will be that space as well. And if you keep turning, 
So we have the stairs again. That is my office, beauty space, filming room, and then I have a storage closet there. So I'll start with Michael's den. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but he has a nice window here. It's, you know, a room. He's got a closet. That's where all of the media controls and equipment is gonna be for the house. And then his TVs will be on this wall. I don't know what he's gonna have going on in this room. So if we go into Brooke's room, she has really nice windows. I think she'll enjoy having all of this light. Her closet and then the bathroom with a, a door in between the toilet and shower, bathtub, and then her vanity space will be here. And then this is the guest room space, yep. closet, and then my office and the guest room share a Jack and Jill bath, which also has a separate toilet, shower, bathroom. And we'll just enter my office through the bathroom. I mean, why not? So I'm thinking I'm going to be filming right here. That will be the wall behind me, which faces this window. I'm very excited about that. I'm more than likely gonna have a working desk there. And here, I'm gonna have a sofa that makes out into a bed. Again, if my mom's here and Brady are here at the same time, we'll have an extra bed for someone to sleep. But it'll also be a space where I can kind of lounge and work because I'm in my office a lot. So it'll be just kind of another space. And the storage closet. It's a lot of drawers, I realize that, but the equipment, the products, skincare, hair care, cleansers, everything that we get, PR, things that I buy, I can section it out, organize it the way I want it, drawers underneath, and then adjustable shelves. And I can store everyday office things as well. And then there's more storage back here. It'll have adjustable shelves and that goes to a walk-in attic. So if we turn back around this way, that's the Jack and Jill bathroom. This is the landing area that we were in a while ago. And we can go downstairs and see what's going on in the front of the house. So this is just kind of what it looks like when you're walking out. I'm gonna have some sconces and some kind of artwork here. We did a cased opening here just to add some visual interest. And now we're walking out. Party plank is always mustard yellow. This is not the color of the house. It will be painted. The detail work on these columns and the bay window, myself and my designer friend Ashley worked ridiculously hard on the detailing because I think once they're painted, it will make a big difference. We have so many moving parts happening between this build and so many decisions. I mean, there's always decisions with the house build. We had a ton to make in the beginning, then we had a nice break. And now all of a sudden, now that it's getting closer, the decisions are coming in hard again. That combined with the end of the school year, Brooke has had a lot going on. Academically, she's had a lot of great things going on. She also made captain of her dance team. She's had a lot of good stuff going on with track, just a lot of stuff and it's all really good, but it, it keeps you busy. That plus work, both of our work schedules and you know, keeping a social life with our friends when we can, it's just, it's a lot. All good things, I feel very blessed. You know, these are the same people that we built with 10 years ago and they are fantastic. It's really hard sometimes to build in New Orleans because the lots are narrow if you get a single lot. And the architects we've used have done such a great job of maximizing the space in a really great way and our builders are just, so fantastic to work with, which certainly helps things. So I thought I was finished ordering wallpaper and then I found two more areas where I wanna put it. That's why I was there today to measure and figure out the amount I need so I could actually place the order. And Brooke's bed came early. It arrived today and we have it slid behind our table where we eat in the kitchen because there's no place to put it. Because of our interim living conditions, we just didn't want to assemble the bed that's going in the new house in this house. We just figured we would do it after we move in. I never thought it would be a problem having furniture arrive early, but we don't have another storage unit or anywhere to keep furniture that arrives before July or August. Furniture is either coming in around that time or not until way later where we're going to have to move our old furniture out and move the new furniture in. So there didn't seem to be an in-between and 
then we got something early. So they're continuing work on the pool tomorrow. So I'll be back over at the house and I may bring you guys with me. I'm not sure. So we'll just have to see what's on the agenda. I was cut off by a phone call the last time I was talking to you and then I got completely derailed. Luke and I are hanging out here. I'm doing some work today at home. He's looking out the window and then there's some boxes with wallpaper and hardware and all kinds of things in it behind me. On top of the build, there's been graduations, graduation parties, the end of the school year for Brooke, which has had us completely busy. I can't even begin to imagine how busy next year, her senior year is going to be. I'm not going to lie. I am worn out. I know these are all good things that are going on and this build is such a blessing, but I am burning the candle at both ends. So if I'm talking to you and not smiling and seeming like I'm kind of looking all over the place, it's because my brain, it just can't shut off. I have a hard time keeping up with everything I need to keep up with and I I'm just exhausted most of the time these days. So speaking of Luke, he turned 13 in April. 13. I brought him to the vet for a senior checkup and he always gets so antsy in the waiting room. He won't even get down from the bench. He's looking all over. And then when he gets up on that table, if I am not standing immediately behind him, he would back off the table. He shakes like a leaf, poor thing. But they said he looks great and they can't believe he's 13 because he's still very spry. He still jumps from furniture to furniture and plays and he is very healthy. I know some of you were wondering how he was doing because a vlog or two ago, he was having some issues that he has improved a lot. So I said they were moving quickly with the house. The very next day after I last talked with you, I walked in the house and there were boxes everywhere. The cabinets had been delivered and they're moving with tile work pretty quickly. Some is grouted, some isn't, but it's looking really nice. They're moving forward with the interior paint. It's looking really good. I love the way the white is coming out. It's a nice soft white and we're doing the butler's pantry different and I was a little nervous at first, but it's coming out really nicely and I'm doing a contrasting kind of taupey gray color on the doors, which is something I wanted to do in our last house, but I never did and I think it's going to go really well well with everything else once the, everything's completed. And they've started putting in all of the adjustable shelves that weren't in before. So I'm vlogging when I can because I really do enjoy it. But sometimes when I go to the house, there's a lot of background noise and you can't even hear me or I'm just running around like crazy and I can't get any footage. You know, I usually go by the house every evening if I don't need to go during the day for some reason. And I am amazed at the changes, at the progress that's made literally every single day. It's only been a few days since I last talked with you and they put the first coat of white paint on the house. Things are moving so rapidly, I can barely keep up, which is a, such a good thing. They've also put more cabinetry up, more tile in. I had to get there first thing this morning after this long Memorial Day weekend to go over the hood details, some details with our backsplash and the fireplace build as well. So I'm just now leaving, it's 11.30. I was going to try and film today, but Brady is in town and we both have to do our driver's license renewals, which neither one of us is looking forward to. There are some logistical things with the new address and us not living there. So I had to wait for some documents to come in and he just turned 21. Can you believe? I, I, I still can't believe it. I also decided instead of putting a new video up this week, I'm going to try and get this vlog out because it's been so long since I've done any kind of house update here on YouTube and I've been getting a lot of messages about it. Sorry. It's just, like I said, been moving so fast it's hard to keep up day to day it's just crazy how quickly things are moving so I'm gonna head home and try and do something to myself so I don't look like I've been sweating out in the 90 degree heat and humidity at the job site I got cut off yesterday it's the next morning I'm a little tired drinking some coffee I'm getting ready to actually pour this and some more in a travel mug because I have to head out the door I have on just a very basic comfortable outfit today because it just kind of fits what I'm doing ignore all of the boxes and junk piled behind me because that's just where things are having to go as they come in for the, the build. So these shorts are from Athleta and they come in different colors. They're so comfortable and so easy to wear. You can kind of dress them up or dress them down. This shirt is old from Target, but it's kind of the style that I wear from Athleta. And I have on the bracelets I wear all the time. And then I have on, of course, some sneakers that I absolutely love and a necklace I wear all the time. And then just some little stud earrings. 
earrings and then my favorite sunglasses. Actually, I have a couple pair from this brand and I just, I really, really love these. Brooke made captain of her dance team this year. She's been an officer for several years. The officer moms had to help organize this little party, this beginning of the year Bunko party. Let me know in the comments if you know what Bunko is. So that's this morning and I have to go pick up some things for that. And I got a message from the builder yesterday that our cabinet hardware came in and I needed to get back to the house ASAP to make sure it's placed correctly, which of course I want to be sure it's placed correctly. But I wasn't planning on going to the house until the end of the day today. I'm actually going around two. So I'm bringing a few things with me that I need to do while I'm there. And it's just so hot in that house right now because it's like 95 and humid here. So I wanted to be sure I was comfortable today. And they're coming to measure and template the countertops tomorrow. So I think I have to go back to the house tomorrow too. It's just that time where things are moving so rapidly. There's just never any rest. It's a good problem to have, don't get me wrong, but I need to get out of this house. So I'm gonna transfer my coffee into a travel mug and head out. I left the house around nine o'clock this morning to grab a few things that I needed to get for the party that I was helping with for Brooke that started around 1030. It was so fun and the girls had a great time. They did a game to figure out who their big buddy was for this year, just so the younger girls have someone older to kind of, you know, help them along. The older girls string the house with yarn and then to find out who their big buddy is for the year, the younger ones have to untangle their yarn that eventually leads them to their big buddy. It's really cute. And they ate and then they played Bunko and again, had a lot of fun. I had to leave early to go meet the builders and Ashley, my designer at the house to go over the hardware placement. And then I looked at some fabrics and things that I'm looking at for the upstairs curtains, just to see what they looked like with the paint that's on the walls. I felt like I was melting in that hot house for two and a half hours. And then we had to figure out some things with the shutters, but I don't think I have to go to the house tomorrow, which is good. So now I'm going to go inside in some air conditioning and relax and figure out if I'm going to put this video that I'm in the middle of filming this vlog up Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure what day I'm going to be able to get it up, get all the footage edited together, the thumbnail done and everything. We'll see. I, I just feel like this has been a crazy busy week already, even more so than last week, if that's possible. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'll see you in a bit. I had to come back to the house after dinner. It's about 7.30 at night, so I'm probably looking a bit grainy because it's getting dark outside. I left this box here that has some hardware for the utility room, but because all of the sizes haven't come in, he told me to take it back home so it doesn't get misplaced here. It's also got the long appliance handles for the refrigerator doors, those panels when they come in, and it's got a couple things for our closet. I was sitting there at home and I just thought, oh no, I left that box there. So I had to come back here just for that. So before it gets dark, I'm going to head back home and settle in for the night and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I sat here on purpose because Luke was right over my shoulder. I think it was maybe 10 seconds later, he got up and moved over there. So I guess we're getting what we get of Luke, which is probably not going to be much. He always likes laying on the back of sofas and chairs, but when I'm the only one home, he likes to have a good view of the door because I think he feels like my protector. So I'll just leave him be and let him do his thing. I don't know where the day went today. I did sleep a little bit later than usual because I've been staying up later and getting up earlier than normal. And since today was mostly going to be an editing day, I just decided I was going to sleep in if I could. I wasn't going to set an alarm. So I did. And that was really nice. However, I woke up to an email status update on our master bedroom dresser and nightstands. Our dresser was supposed to come in October. It's now coming the end of November and our nightstands were coming in August and they're now coming at the end of September. So we may have all of our furniture that we're getting new in the house by the end of the year, which is crazy when you think how long ago I ordered the furniture, but that's just what's happening. We'll just move in with what we have and move it out when the new pieces arrive. I spent most of the day editing, which isn't really too vlog worthy. And I also had to deal with ordering a new range hood insert. The one that we ordered is not going to come in by the time we need to move in and you have to have all your 
appliances in for inspection. So I had to start over with that and find something new. So I had to look at alternatives and ask questions and do some things with that. I did ask her if our other appliances were in. She said most of our indoor and outdoor appliances are currently in except for that, the microwave drawer and the ovens. So she's checking on the status of those because I don't want those to hold anything up and I'm really hoping that we don't have to pick new ovens, double ovens, because I really, really love the ones that I chose. And I actually am kind of disappointed about the hood insert too, because the one that we chose had some features that the new one won't have, but that's okay. I mean, in the beginning, when I was first choosing my appliances, I had to completely eliminate an entire family of brands from my choices. I couldn't even look at them. I mean, I could, but it would have been a risk because they were taking up to a year and a half for some of their pieces to come in. And that just was not something I was willing to gamble on. So yeah, that affected things that we initially selected. So I just wanted to come on and chat with you for a little bit before I signed off. I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot of changes before the next vlog. I'm going to try and do better with capturing things and getting a vlog out sooner rather than having a lot of time in between. I mean, quite frankly, I really can't have a lot of time in between them because there is so much going on. A lot of stuff would be missed. So I'll see you soon in my next vlog and of course sooner than that in my next video. But I'm very excited for the changes that are coming rapidly with this build that I can share with you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!